Hello and welcome to the 3D RCC. In this video I'll show you how I made this chess board and printed it in two colors. And the uh, numbers on this one are uh, slightly wrong but that's corrected in the file you can download in the description from uh, Thingiverse. Uh, so as you can see right here the game uh, chess pieces are uh, printed in the base so you know where to place them and it looks quite good as well and all this is done with two separate styles and i'll show you how to do that now stay tuned so this is my chess board as you can see right here this is the one you'll be downloading from the link in the description from thingiverse and the one i printed is slightly different with uh, the numbers are uh, wrong on one side but uh, uh, i've corrected that but i don't uh, i won't print it again because i think it's okay without those on mine but it's completely the same they are just the other way around so that is this is uh, one uh, white piece which is uh, together right here that is the back plated well so that holds together um, all the parts these are actually um, separate parts all of them so uh, but they are combined so you don't have to import multiple STLs so I'll go ahead and import the black one and then the white one into Cura and I'll show you how to slice this model so you can see now I've imported the black one in here you'll be slicing two different uh, separate STLs and then printing them on top of each other so your printer needs to be quite accurate but uh, it works fine with my Ender 3 I right here so that's okay I imported this one right here it comes in just like this then as you can see I have a 0.2 layer height and that's the important thing because it's 0.4 high so you have two layers uh, you don't need C-Hop for this one, but for the other one it's really important because otherwise it will crash into the pin. And this is two layers thick, so it's just a solid uh, print, 0.4 millimeters high. And uh, the bed leveling needs to be really well tuned. As you can see, it uses all of the bed, so if there is a slight... Uh, uh, difference in height the uh, numbers will be different thicknesses on the sides but that yeah this one is just like your normal slice pretty much you can see the time down there and then I'll move to uh, the white one right here then only see this it prints on the first two layers only where the other part uh, wasn't so it will actually print on top inside that and then once it's at point four it puts this uh, a few layers on top to make it a bit uh, starter you can glue this on wood or just uh, make it slightly Modify, modify it and make it slightly taller if you want so this is where it's more important the same settings right here of course but then you need to enable c-hop because if you don't uh, do that then when it moves from two of the holes it will actually touch the part that is already on the bed and that will uh, make your uh, stepper motor skip or just yes, ruin the print uh, but if you just enable c-hop otherwise you, you could probably use your regular settings uh, if you have a bed that releases when the bed cools down the, you have to be quick and turn on the second one because otherwise it will uh, release the first one and then you won't be able to print this on top 
but if you have a build tack style uh, plate that uh, doesn't matter because then it will just um, stick and then you can turn it on whenever you want. Oh, I forgot, you, you can't use a, a skirt on the second one because as you can see right here it will go under because there's a slight gap in between there and the part is already there so make sure you uh, turned that off before you try to print it you can just uh, push out the small amount of uh, filament manually so just set the build plate adhesion type to none and then you should be good so now i'll show you how it turned out and hope you enjoyed this well and the uh, uh, chess pieces I used uh, are linked in uh, the description so you can download that from Thingiverse as well and I printed them at 65% uh, scale to make them slightly smaller and fit the size of this uh, chess board so that's it for this video Hope you enjoyed it and if you did uh, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next